Okay, this is going to be hopefully kind of quick because I realized right after I took the last video, sorry, a uh, bit of a derp on my part, these things do happen. Um, so I asked a question. I think it was the very first video of this, this particular series. I asked a question and I said, what was the worst for cause out of three groups? And I had swore, well, I didn't quite swore, but I said, okay, don't worry, guys, I won't leave you hanging. I want to make sure I hold my words whenever I can. Um, so I, I said, what was the worst for cause between the fender, the critic, or the person that was within the cause? And uh, I swore that I would let you know I wouldn't leave you hanging and kind of get into the answer to that and why. So by now you've probably kept this question in mind. And so you're wondering, well, what is it? So we're going to go down the list. We're going to pro, kind of pros and cons of each. Okay. The person that's within the cause, the member of the movement, participant, we'll go with that, participant. Participants is, of course, the building blocks of movement. Without them, you don't have a movement. They're the ones that do majority of the work. They're the boots on the ground. They're the soldiers in the army, so to speak. You'll hear some people say that. Without them, you don't have a movement. Sometimes you can consider bystanders the same way, too, because between that, it usually influences how things go as far as whether or not a movement will receive proper support and such. They will... They could receive or lose support based on the actions of the movement. So, are they the worst for a cause? Because of what they could do or not do? The Defender. Defender of the critics are basically like the vanguard. They are the shield maidens. They will sit there and they are the first and, and foremost line of defense to deal with all criticisms and all critics and defend them stalwartly to the death. On one hand, this is where you usually get a lot of your fanatics. On the other hand, this is they usually prevent, prevent stuff like people that are just trolls, naysayers, people that are just starting stuff to start stuff. So, what about the Defender? Are they the worst for the cause? Now we come to the Critic. And the Critic is a role where you will often see, on the pro side, whistleblowers, people that want to make sure people are doing the right thing. Um, I won't say kind of a police because but there, there is kind of like that role of basically you want to do the right thing. You want to make sure that they are held accountable for their actions. And on the other hand, the critic is, like we saw in the election, someone that's just looking to stir up stuff, either for their own benefit or to paint people in a certain light. So that's the pros and cons of the critic. Do you think the critic is worse for the cause? Many people will often say that the critic is the worst for the cause because their criticisms can air the dirty language of a cause and cause them to cause people to not follow a cause it's too much negative not enough positive or they act like we should only tell them to show them the positive sides so that they look good for the camera uh, if you if you pick critic i'm not really i'm, I'm not honestly surprised and i'm not going to think badly about it, about you for it either but you're actually wrong. It's not the critics are where we where we get the most whistleblowers, and the ones that aren't the whistleblowers but looking to stir stir stuff up are usually very easily uh, dismissed, or they're easy to kind of deal with in ways that are reasonable. But it is actually not the critic that is the worst for the cause. So next up, we're going to go to the participants. There are many that'll say that they're the worst for the cause because they could do more and should do more. More often than not, they're already busting their butts. So actually, the participant is not the worst for a cause. Yes, they do things that could help or hurt, but it's kind of a 50-50 split, and they usually go on the say-so of those above them. They're usually Many of them don't even have their own opinions. They have someone else's opinion, and they're going to do whatever they can to look good within that group, to feel like they're a part of something belong to keep getting that emotional fixation that emotional drug rush 
Okay, they're druggies of a different type, and I'm not even kidding. So they're not the they're 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 not the worst for the cause. The worst for the cause is actually the defender, and that that's probably going to surprise a bunch of you or some of you that have heard this before. Uh, it's probably going to surprise you. Why? Why is the defender the worst for the cause? And what I've linked this to, likened this to, to give you a good description is often like cancer. Um, cancer is an ugly thing. It has claimed some members of my family. I despise it, detest it, etc. So this is not making light of cancer in any way, shape, or form. So those of you that are automatically getting triggered, please seek psychological help and don't let you hit the door hit you on the way out. Okay, for those of you that are still around, here's what I mean by that. Cancer is a nasty thing. It creates a mass of cells tumor cells that basically eat the body alive, causing, causing things to shut down. Okay? Corruption in a movement, or with a, within a particular political figure or celebrity, is very much the same way in terms of criticism. Okay? So, critics in this case could be considered as a chemo. You try to take out enough of the bad and hope that there's enough good left that what is left remains functional and viable. If it is allowed to go unchecked, more often than not, without the aid of some sort of miracle, the cancer will become terminal or the corruption will become terminal and the person or movement will collapse or become something that is not at all what the movement is supposed to represent. It will become, it will become a pile of crap, pretty much. So, in that same regard, the reason that the defenders can be the worst for the cause is because they don't tend to allow any criticism. They won't challenge their own beliefs, and they can't handle anyone else doing the same. Look at every major story that's hit. Look at the defenders of every single one of those political fronts on all sides. How many of them can challenge their own beliefs? They can't. They won't. And the more you press them to, the more they're going to flip out, make accusations, or start trouble with you. With you. And all you did was force them to challenge their own belief and grow up a little bit. Because someone that can challenge their belief, that is a mature individual. Someone that can't, that is a grown-up child. We have too many grown-up children running around. <coughs> we have that whole DC protest that was nothing short of rioting and just damaging property just so people could get away with saying that they pulled some garbage. And now people are flipping out because they're like, oh, well, Trump said he's going to arrest people. Good. Hold them accountable. Criticize. Accept criticism. Challenge your beliefs and accept the fact that maybe these people are not good for you. Maybe they are not healthy for you. And maybe you don't have to cling to something that is not healthy for you because you can jump ship and abandon that model for something that is more healthy, for someone that will be honest with you. You may not always like what they have to say, but they will be honest enough to you to say it and bluntly say it in a way that is without falsehood. They're not trying to take advantage of you. They're just trying to tell it straight and get you to wake up and see what is actually going on. Big difference. So the defenders can actually be the worst for a cause because they're so busy trying to fight off any criticism and keep things all flowery and positive and make themselves look in the best light so that their personal egos are satiated that everything else goes to complete crap. And what happens? The body of the movement goes terminal. Celebrity status goes terminal. These things wind up happening. And they want to blame everybody else. But if they really want to blame somebody, they have nothing to do but to look in the mirror. Because that's where the fault really lies. They could have criticized something, and they could have ensured that action was, was taken, and that people were held accountable, and that positive changes were made. They could have headed this off at the past. Instead, they've let it go so out of hand that now everything is completely warped beyond reason or repair. And at that point, your only options are to either sync with it, reform it, or replace it. Nine times out of ten, they usually pick the first option and go decide to go down with the ship. 
which is stupid. But again, in this sense, they are the worst because much like the chemo, you know, they they. Well, actually, they, they would be what people would, they would be trying to prevent the chemo. They would be trying to prevent any type of cure or remedy because, oh, well, this is perfectly fine as it is. You're just getting in the way. No, the defenders are getting in the way. They've become so fanatical that they've gone from support of the situation to worship of it, and they can see no other option, no other alternative, and they won't allow it. So in that regard, they can be the worst for a cause. Likewise, support of a celebrity, support of a political figure, and that's whether it's Obama, Trump, Bernie, Clinton. Clinton's one of the bigger ones. I've seen some inklings with Trump, too, but Bush was another big one. Oh, you can't talk about him because... Yes, I can. I can talk about him, and I will. <coughs> Onision. Same thing. His supporters do the same stuff. They are a hallmark of that. These defenders are allowing these abuses to continue because they support someone who is lying to them and is quite upfront about how much he is lying to them and is basically bragging to them that he is getting away with it. These are things people need to understand. So, <coughs> I just wanted to cover that before I uh, kick off for the evening. So, I wanted to make sure I covered all my bases that I was like, okay, did I cover everything? And I'm like, oh, I missed that. I could have let it. I could, you could always let it slide, but um, I said I was going to do something, so I'm going to do it. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I will see y'all again soon, hopefully, and uh, hope you enjoy. Have a nice day.